The church key is an extensively renovated pub residing in the prominent heritage building across from the Grand Theater on Richmond Row in downtown London, Ontario, and features an intimate outdoor courtyard. It also follows the British tradition of the gastro pub by specializing in traditional food done with a gourmet flair. Chef Michael Englestad has over 20 years of experience in fine dining and uses seasonal, locally sourced ingredients whenever possible. Owners Peter and Vanessa Willis have nearly 50 years of combined experience in the restaurant industry in the opening of the church key in May of 2009 was accumulation of a long time dream. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Today we are here in London, Ontario. One of my favorite places to come visit actually. I have a couple customers out here but I always check out downtown. Lots of good restaurants to eat at down here. It's one of the foodie capitals of Canada. And if you can't find anything to eat down here, then I don't know what you're doing. But again, we got the Church Key Bistro and Pub, and we're gonna be starting off with what's called the Elder Fashion. So we have one ounce of White Owl, one ounce of St. Germain Elder Flower Decor, orange juice, peach, and grapefruit bitters. Let's give it a good shot here. It smells nice and sweet. I smell that grapefruit nice and, is grapefruit sour? Yeah, nice and sour. Let's give it a good taste. Oh, that's delicious. That's like a breakfast drink. Hold on. Now you're talking. All right, y'all. We have the first of three appetizers. These are the salmon wrapped scallops. I have never heard of that in my life. Usually you hear about bacon wrapped scallops, something like that. But it's salmon wrap. How do you wrap salmon? Well, let me show you. But first, it's supposed to be described as sea scallops wrapped in house smoked salmon and drizzled with a grapefruit and rice wine syrup and togarashi aioli. I don't know what to expect here, but I am excited for this. Get a, get a little cut here. Oh, look at that. Gotta rub it in the sauce a little bit. Check it out. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. That is incredible. You get a little crunchy, just from the salmon on the scallop. The chewiness of the scallop itself. There's like no fishy taste. It's just delicious. And you get a little sweetness from that grapefruit aioli sauce that got here. Oh my goodness, these are delicious. All right, y'all, new drink just showed up. Check this guy out here. This is gonna be the spiced bourbon old fashioned. Get a little look at that. So it usually comes with one and a half ounce of Jim Beam, cinnamon and cardamom syrup, orange bitters and rosemary. But I doubled up on a Jim Beam because I want a little stronger drink, especially with that much juice and other mixings in it. So let's give it a good taste here. We got that foam on top. I don't know what's going on with that, but hey, it smells light. I can't really taste much at all or smell much at all with this. But let's give it a shot here. No COVID. Yo. That reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it. Oh, it's going to come back to me. It must be the bitters and the syrup. That is delicious. It's refreshing, actually. Listening to, well, reading the ingredients off. It doesn't sound very refreshing, but it actually very, it is. It's delicious. All right, y'all. This next appetizer was a little uh, intimidating, if you may so to speak. So I actually I ordered it, but thought it was something else that was coming out. But that's okay. That's what we do here at The Hungry Road. We eat. So this is the chicken fried bacon. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be like some, I, I don't know what I was expecting, <laughs> but this is what I got. And it looks good and it smells fantastic. So this is house smoked bacon, lightly breaded and flash fried and served with a spicy maple glaze and Stilton ranch dressing. So this is something, it's a nice, looking design here oh yeah look at that <laughs> got some maple glaze hanging out the side over here let's move the menu out the way get right to it it looks like some nice thin chicken fingers i mean this can't be no worse than eating like a wing that's been breaded right yeah it's all right so let's cut into this thing let's go no dressing first uh-huh nice thick cut of bacon look at that Oh, that smells so good. Look at that cross section right there. I don't know how to explain it to you. 
It's nice thick cut of bacon. The breading is not overwhelming, but that sweetness from the maple glaze is delicious. Mmm. Now I wonder how it's gonna pair with the ranch dressing here. Maple and bacon and breading and ranch dressing. Let's get a little dollop. Throw it on top. Mm -hmm. I think the ranch, you don't need it. This is good all on its own. The ranch kind of covers up some of those flavors. You get that maple and that saltiness from the bacon. You don't need the ranch dressing. This is fantastic. I don't know if I should eat all three of these. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. So the chicken fried bacon didn't feel that bad going down. Not even going to hold you up. But it's not a very healthy thing to eat. But anyway, let's move on from that. We're digesting that. We'll get rid of it. It'll be good. Everything be fine. Take a little sip of my drink. Palate cleanser. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Last but not least is the thing I'm looking forward to the most. This is called the Irish enchilada. Never heard of it before, but I saw it had lamb in it, so I said I need to try it. I'm a huge fan of lamb. So in it, pulled lamb braised in Guinness. The beer, braised in Guinness, then wrapped in a baked tortilla with cheese. So it looked like little egg rolls, but they say don't call them egg rolls because they ain't egg rolls. They're Irish enchiladas. All right, baked with tortilla with cheese, and we're served with a minted creme Fry it. It's F R A I C H E. <laughs> Blizzard test. Nice thick sauce there. And we have a chili lime sauce that's well, pretty thick there. So I was told this is going to be the spicy. And then this over here is the antidote for the spicy. So let's give it a shot here. Check it out. A little lamby lamb. Uh huh. You know, I like spice. Let's go for the spice. Get a nice whole heap of, yeah, see that? Nice heap of that spice, boy. Mmm. So this is Canada, right? In my experience, they don't really do spice, but this got some heat. It's probably like a 6.83. Nah, let's go seven. I think this might be spicier. It's, I feel, I feel sweat. I feel heat. I feel warm. I think this is spicier than an Arby's Diablo sandwich. Okay, 7.2. It builds. No antidote yet. More spice. And then we'll try the antidote. This is fantastic. The lamb is nice and savory, juicy, soft. Mmm. <laughs> Who thought to wrap lamb in a tortilla and fry it? This is amazing. And it's not like super lamby. I would prefer more of a lamby taste, like lamb chops. But this is different. It's pulled lamb. It's different. And you get the Guinness beer in there that braised it. Very nice job. We're not done. All right. Part two of the Irish enchilada. The antidote. I don't need it. But it's here. We got to try it. So it looks like, a, like the sauce I just had for the chicken fried bacon. But it's supposed to be closer to like a tzatziki or like an Indian wrap up. So give it a good, I think that's enough, right? For my size bites. Give it a good whirl here. That's good. I taste cucumber. Like a nice unflavored yogurt base sauce. It's creamy, it's fresh. Now, what if you mix them together? Let's get some spicy stuff here. And then can we put this stuff on top of it or is it too thick to pour? It's too thick to pour. So let's go ahead. Oh, hold on, it's coming. Nah, we're just going to do a little scrape. We got them both. Let's go for it. I haven't stand over a sauce in a minute. This sauce is incredible. I want to take it home and maybe get some wings, some wings in this. Put it on my eggs in the morning. A burger. 
whatever with it. Sip out of a straw. This is fantastic. All right, y'all. That concludes this video here at the Church Key Bistro and Pub. I came here three years ago, and the same guy took care of me. That's awesome. His name is Cap. Make sure you ask for him at the bar. I'm hanging out. I got a nice spotlight. Feeling good. It's a nice, quaint little place here. It's like a bistro and pub. <laughs> when you come here, you'll check it out. What well, you saw in the intro. But if you're in the area, pay these guys a visit. Tell them the Hungry Road sent you. Anyway, take care, guys. Stay safe. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Whose idea was to wrap the scallop in a sandwich? Yeah, that's our chef. <laughs> but it works out pretty good, though. Yeah, it sure does. I, like, everyone's used to the bacon wrap. Exactly. Scallops, right? I mentioned and, that, yeah. And then, uh, there's a lot of people that will still actually order bacon wrap scallops, even though they're reading salmon wrap. Oh, they still want bacon. Oh, okay. No, they, they just don't. Oh, they see it, it. They see salmon, but they say bacon. They say bacon? Yeah. Not funny. They, they mean salmon. Yeah. But it works out okay. Yeah, it does. Oh, hey, can I grab another one of those business cards? Uh, that table over there was asking about you, so I just gave him your business card. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's why I have them. I got the shirt. I, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're trying to read your shirt. And, uh, a little sideways. Yeah. I was explaining to them a little bit. Very good. good, man. Yeah, that's, that's got some heat. Yeah. In my experience in Canada, they don't do a lot of spice. Here. Yes. Yeah, it's got some heat. It's okay. <laughs> but this is, this is good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Good. Yeah, it's not super overpowering. doesn't numb your taste buds or anything, mm -hmm. but it's, it's spicy. It's really good. Yeah, that's why we give you the antidote. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm about to do it. Yeah.